Hi, uh, today I'll show you the demo on the uh, CDI uh, JSF integration. Uh, here I will show you in demo the concept of uh, accessing EJB methods through any JSF based pages. Uh, so uh, this is a project uh, started by JBoss uh, called Open Webbins, where uh, they initiated initiated the concept of uh, giving uh, the way of accessing an EJB uh, through a JSF page directly. So how do you do that? Uh, normally, in, in normal scenarios, before that, uh, uh, you have an JSF managed bin. Through that manage bin, you do a lookup or use EJB annotations to access the EJB, then pass this to the XSML pages or JSF pages. Now, uh, since the evolution of uh, CDI, uh, the concept is you have a EJB, then annotate that EJB with a, an annotation called named. So, this is a part of Java X dot inject dot named, and uh, and the values give give a value. The value is nothing but a band name through that uh, by which the EJB will be uh, recognized. So CDI will convert uh, this EJB uh, to a JSF uh, similar object, and it makes uh, all the methods in, in made available to our XML pages. To illustrate this demo. I have created a EJB. So my EJB is this grid bin, and uh, it's a stateless and local bin. I don't have any remote interface or local interface. Uh, so this is a particular typical EJB which, uh, where I have a uh, uh, different set of methods. This is a simplest grid method well, uh, where I am passing some uh, string and uh, returning something. Then I have a asynchronous method. Then I have uh, the lifecycle method of EJB. Then a single uh, method, uh, another method called invoke. Uh, which is written as a simple string. So I have this written invoke. Now, uh, uh, this is an EJB. Now, how do I make available to my JSF pages? Simple. I have to just annotate this class, this EJB, uh, with an attribute called at the rate named. And I have a attribute called value in that uh, annotation. And I have given something value called grid. Now, in my XHTML pages, I just have to go there. And how do you achieve? to a default expression language has a name through which my uh, EJB will be recognized. So if you just click on it, control click, so it just navigate me to that uh, bin definition, bin class. So come back to the XML pages. So in this grid, by this grid, uh, what and all methods are available, I can access them. So I have already used invoke. So just delete it, you just hit control space. So it will just list me the number of methods available in my in in that EJB, so I'll just use invoke uh, because I have the simplest example here I'm going to demonstrate. And uh, since CDI is part of Java Enterprise Six, uh, you can run this uh, on any Java Enterprise Six compliant server, including uh, WebLogic 12C, Glasses 3, um, Apache Tom EE, then JWAS A7, IBM Rescript 8, any Java EE6 compliant server, uh, we can run this demo. I have used WebLogic 12C, so I have already configured the server and it ran. So I'll just show you how it works. I have the browser also. I opened the browser. Now this is my test page. So this is what check CDI uh, JSF page. So if, if I click it, go to the CDI JSF XML pages. Let's go there. Okay, now here it goes. So it says hello from Facelit. I'll show you the HTML page. So hello from Facelit, the title, sorry, the body content. And in the panel grid, I have just input, uh, 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 called uh, this invoke method of greater bin. So you can see this is a text box here and the message invoke. So here's the message invoke. So what it can come here. And even if I have configure the interceptor also so whenever a method is executed the interceptor will call in my next video i'll show you demo interceptor in detail 